If you're asked to find equivalent fractions for four fifths, here's how you do it. First off, when we look at four fifths, four over five, we want an equivalent fraction to have the same value, but a different numerator over a different denominator. To do that, we could multiply by one, but instead of one, let's call it two over two. Two divided by two, that's still one. So we don't change the value. But when we multiply across, we get two times four is eight, two times five, that's 10. So this is an equivalent fraction. If you divide four by five, you'll get 0.8. If you divide eight by 10, you'll get 0.8. So they're equivalent fractions. Let's do another one, how about three divided by three? So again, three divided by three is one. We're not changing the value. Three times four, that's 12. Three times five, that's 15. This again is an equivalent fraction. It has the same value as four fifths. One last one, how about seven sevenths? So this is another equivalent fraction for four fifths. This is Dr. B looking at a few equivalent fractions for four fifths. Thanks for watching.